Manchester United nil, Wolverhampton Wanderers won, and let's just say that is probably the worst performance I've seen ever in that first half. Now, I can't believe we've well, I can believe we've lost the game. We're we finished with a, I don't know. We we are the worst club, or we're the worst footballing team in the league. Forget top four. We're not getting top four. We can't even create a chance in the first half on target. We have. Phil Jones coming in and being our best centre back, or our best player, should I say? McTominay and Matic are fucking useless. Matic is only good if you put someone good next to him. McTominay, he found his level last week against Burnley. Fuck him off to Burnley. Let him stay there. Why didn't you leave him off for a coach on the way back? Like the midfield, how McTominay and Matic have survived all game is ridiculous. Donny and Fred are on the bench. There's two options there. Yeah, you can use two of them. It's, and you even heard the fans that when when Greenwood came off, the fans booed. That shows to me a lack of trust, a lack of everything in the system. Like Greenwood was playing brilliant. He was the best player in the sec- second half. Then takes him off. Take McTominay or Matic off. Like Donny has. There's been four hundred and something minutes this since Ragnick took over. Donny has not played. Donny has played six minutes at the end of a game. Now, to me, apart from the in, this in the Premier League, by the way, um, so we are not going forward. There's no progression. Ragnick's just another puppet for the Glazers. He's this is not high pressing football. This is deep pressing football. We are shy. We are shy. How is Wan Bissaka in the in the team? Delo was literally head and shoulders, the fucking head and shoulders above Wan Bissaka. In any performance, and one second played alright, but Delo should be playing. On a positive look, McTominay misses the next match, so we'll have a decent midfield hopefully. But Matic got the yellow card as well for fouling at the end. He had to do it really. Let's be honest. Shaw misses next match. We get to see Tellers. Ronaldo awful again. Bruno came on and actually changed the game, made us look decent. But the only positives from that game is Phil Jones, Varane, and De Gea. Like, Phil Jones is better than Maguire. I don't care what anyone says. Phil Jones is better than Maguire. Varane is better than Maguire. Eric Bailly is better than Maguire. Lindelof is better than Maguire. Get Maguire out. Yep, but we're not going to focus on him because he's not here today. But I cannot believe the way that Wolves... Wolves created their most chances in the first half against us. Against us. We are Manchester United, not fucking Stoke. Like, we should be... We should be winning this game. I don't care what anyone says. I was hoping to come on to this video and start praising how good Jones has been and how good Rand's been and how we kept a clean sheet and how we've scored the goal and we've won the game. I wasn't expecting to dominate Wolves 3 or 4 nil. I expected a 1 0, 2 0 win. But I expected a close game. But if you've got people like McTominay and Matic in your midfield doing absolutely nothing, like. They play sideways passes, Mick Sideways, that's his name, or Mick Shite, because he's not Mick Tomney, he's not Mick Sauce. Everyone who got gassed up against Burnley, saying Mick Tomney's a goat, he should be captain. He shouldn't, he's shit. He's the worst, he's a relegation battle midfielder. He's shown that last week against Burnley. Now, Greenwood, Sancho, this formation doesn't work. We're playing. We're basically playing, a, the first half I'm going off here, we're playing a 4-2-2-2. But the two cams are playing as wingers when we attack. So we've got a 4 2 4 against a Wolf side who has five at the back, and we're still not creating anything. Like McTominay and Matic are awful. Matic is good when he's next to Pogba or Donny. I've seen that in the past work. But we're not creating enough. And in the second half, I see him went to a five at the back with, well, a three at the back with Jones, Run and Shaw, Wam Saka, right wing back, Sancho, left wing back. I'm pretty sure he asked Rashford to do the left wing back when he came on. I seen him do it for two minutes and then he fucked off. Now, he bought a lang one at the end. Why is Donny van der Beek not getting minutes? Donny van der Beek. I can't believe it. Matic, imagine sitting on the bench and looking at Matic and McTominay. The midfield is the problem. We all know it. We are not getting top four. We'll be lucky to get top ten with this team. Well, that's a bit of four. Top eight. We are awful. West Ham are better than us. Tottenham are better than us. Ragnick. He's a puppet, another Glazer's puppet, and it's even worse because he's going to go into a director of football role, 
and get it be an even bigger Glazers puppet. So we finished. Man United have finished, and this is not reactionary. Um, I didn't do a match reaction to Burnley last week, even though we won three one. We played absolutely dog shit against Norwich. We won one nil. Dog shit. Newcastle one one. Dog shit. Ronaldo, he should leave. Should Cavani? If I was him, I'd want to leave after saying that or after playing in that. But the play, I back Ragnick. Some of the decision he's made, it's favourite FC again. Why is McTominay playing four minutes? And not why? Why is McTominay playing ninety minutes every week? Why is Donny Van der Beek not getting a chance? Why is Wan Bissaka back in the team over the low? Why is I don't, see? Why is Rashford getting even on the pitch? You've dropped him. You should bring Donny or Lingard on. I get that Lingard doesn't have a future at the club, but. Rashford has been shocking. He came on, he loses the ball straight away. Now, we're just shit. Everything about Manchester United shit at the minute. Owners, shit. Like, we are ran by people who don't know absolute anything about football. It's just politics for them and money. Now, until big change made at this club, it's we're never going to win a league title again. We're never going to win the Champions League. We're still in the Champions League, but if you think playing like that, we're even competing with like Atletico Madrid, you've got another thing coming. Atletico Madrid will absolutely wipe the floor of us. If we played like we did today against Liverpool, we'd lose more than 5 0 from what we did under Oli. Like, the favourite FC is back. McTominay should not be playing. He's shit. He played all right against Burnley, but that's his level. That's the games he should be playing in. That's his level. I don't, I don't understand what Donny has to do to get a game. Honestly. I feel bad for him. It's, I genuinely feel so bad for Donny van der Beek. Like, Martial as well. I get he wants to leave, but he can do a lot more than Ronaldo in this game. And people might laugh at that. Ronaldo is dog shit in this game. And I, I blame the midfield because the midfield aren't progressing the ball. But Cavani was non-existent. Ronaldo non-existent. Like... That's the first ever game Ronaldo's lost as captain, but I don't care about that. Because guess what? We're Manchester United. We're bigger than any player. We're bigger than any any stat, anything like that. We need to be winning these games, and we're not getting top four. We if A draw would have been... We were lucky to even be 1-0 down. We should have been at least 4-0 down. Now, positive. Phil Jones is... At, this is People are going to laugh. Phil Jones was actually decent today. He saved us multiple occasions like goal goal saving block in the first half like Phil Jones is better than Maguire in my opinion that might be reactionary but one's won the Premier League multiple times and one has been relegated multiple times so you know what's the what why is Maguire I guarantee though Phil Jones and Varane do not deserve to be dropped but I guarantee next week Maguire will be back and Maguire will go at a start ahead of them now that will show the balls of this manager the how these clubs run because Phil Jones and Varane are the ones who are good today and they did not deserve to be dropped for the next game we'll see what happens next game I would not be starting many of these players next game it's against Villa I think in the cup I want Donny to play man I just want to see Donny play and if he doesn't he has to go I can't be bothered with this club anymore it's it's an all time low and it's only going to get worse because the owners of the club are shit. We've appointed a manager who does not... Attempt. We've got our technical director on the bench. Darren Fletcher is on the bench. The club is finished. We are finished. We should not... We're not going to win the Champions League. We're not going to win anything this season. And what do we have to say to that? Well, there's nothing I can do. The club's finished. We're awful. And, yeah, that's just New United, unfortunately. It's a shame.